Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Hello, and welcome to another episode of TPTV. I'm your host, Madison Wickham, and this is my co-host, Chris Jobes. And in today's episode, Grant Dunlop has a very special announcement. Hello. Guys, let's face it. I'm a senior. And I'm not going to be here next year. So that's why. That's why I have to give up. My spot here on TPT. So I'm saying goodbye to all of you. Tory Pines is known for our athletics. Many of our athletes do amazing things but go unnoticed. We decided to investigate the story of a nationally ranked tennis player, Jacob Rum. And now to the story with Grayson LaRose. Hi, I'm Grayson LaRose. I was lucky enough to interview with one of the country's best tennis players, a 17-year-old junior, no other than Jacob Rum. I started playing tennis at age two. The main tennis player that inspired me was David Ferrer, but also Conor McGregor, the mixed martial artist, has installed me with the self-confidence and belief that I uh, conduct myself with today. I practice between five to six hours, normally two to three hours tennis, and then two to three hours fitness off court in the gym. I'll be attending most likely Stanford for college, and then after college I'll be going pro and uh, hopefully making a life as a professional tennis player. I was ranked number two in the nation uh, last last year for Torrey Pines. We won states na and nationals. That was a great accomplishment as well. I listened to Metallica before games to, crack, uh, to pump me up, but I mostly I think about uh, the life that I want to make for myself uh, as a professional and all I want to accomplish, and that gives me a lot of motivation. I'm Grayson LaRose reporting from TPTV. Applications for yearbook are now open. Come by room 102 to pick up your application for either writer or photographer. See you there. Attention all 9th grade ISPE students. You are required to take the California Physical Fitness Test. If you are in 9th grade and plan on taking ISPE next year, you must also take this test. There is a mandatory meeting that you must attend. It is Wednesday, May 18th, which is a late start day, from 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. in the stadium. Students must arrive on time, warmed up, and ready to test. If you are late, you will not be allowed to take the test. We are introducing a new segment here on TPTV called Behind the Desk. In this segment, we will go behind the scenes with all of our favorite teachers and find out what their personal lives are like. Our very first teacher was interviewed by Michelle Buhai. Hello fellow Falcons, and welcome to the first ever segment of Behind the Desk on TPTV. Throughout this series, we will be following and highlighting some of our amazing staff that work to make our campus the wonderful and unique place that it is. This week, we'll be getting to know one of the backbones of our English department, Ms. Sudo. My name is Roxana Sudo. I'm an English teacher here at Troy Pines High School. I was born in Lincoln, Nebraska, but I was raised in Northern California, in Cupertino, California. Some of my favorite things to do growing up were to do gymnastics. I was very interested in gymnastics. I also really liked cross-country running. And I loved reading. Right after I graduated high school, I spent the summer at home, and then I went to UC Santa Barbara. And then I went to Japan to teach English as a second language for five years. So Japan uh, really did shape me in a lot of ways. I met my husband in Japan, and we got married in Japan, and then we moved to Brazil after that. When I come home from a long day at school, the thing I love the most is when my son comes to the door and sees me and smiles and, um, and then I get to see my husband and we get to catch up. Why did you decide to become an English teacher? I think I have always loved literature and writing and I love creative writing. I like to do screenwriting and I think that literature is a great way to see uh, the world. Tori Pines has really, really captured me. I absolutely love Torrey Pines High School. I love the staff and everybody here and the leadership and the students are wonderful. So honestly, right now, my favorite place to live is right here in Southern California. Torrey Pines is beyond lucky to have such a special and supportive group of staff on campus, including Masudo. 
Thank you all for everything you do to make our school the wonderful place that it is. I'm Michelle Buhai. Catch us next time for more Behind the Desk on TPTV. Hi, my name is Jackie Weiner. My name is Kelly Hufford. I'm Derek Yee. My name is Kimberly Clary. My name is Christian or Bo Gross. A family in Young Life, the Clearys, has a nonprofit called Donate Your Old Shoes. We find an affiliation that needs shoes and we try to get them to third and fourth world countries. They need 3,000 more shoes to complete their package to send off to Uganda. And Tori Pines, if you didn't know, has around 3,000 students and faculty. We can, as a community of students, give back to a place that is very different from where we live. The shoe drive is only going to work if we get everyone to jump on board with this thing. Obviously, we live in a really wealthy and um, lucky community. We're very blessed with what we have, and Everyone definitely has a pair of shoes lying around in their garage that is stinky and they don't want anymore. The people that are in these third and fourth world countries, they walk around with no shoes on and they get abscesses on their feet and that's how they get parasites into their bodies and that's how they get super sick and they even die. So if we can just shoe the shoeless population, we hopefully might be saving lives. If any of them to you know, third or fourth world countries, you know when you go and you see people without shoes, it's unreal. Because we come home and we've just got pairs on pairs on pairs of shoes around. You don't need to throw away your brand new Converse or brand new Yeezys. Just take those <laughs> shoes that you're never going to wear just donate them. And it turns out that you guys love Chipotle, Board and Brew, Porterhouse, and Patagonia. Every time you turn in one pair of shoes, you get a raffle ticket back and you have the potential to win those prizes. Top of the ramp at lunch and potentially before school you'll see someone there and they will be ready to take your shoes and you will be making a difference. You're awesome, thank you. Donate your shoes. And now to the long-awaited TP Travels Spring Break Edition. TV. Tune in next week for another episode. Goodbye.